For generations of families, Cleveland's public square has served as the enchanting center stage for many holiday memories. But there is the stark reality that public square is a target for crime. 3 News investigator Marissa Sines details the crime that looms in the shadows of the holiday lights. Downtown Cleveland this time of year is simply magical. Every corner a festive trademark. People shuffling through the lights of Public Square every minute of the day. There's no better place to enjoy the holidays than downtown. But what if I told you that same center of our downtown skyline isn't always so jolly? Police records we obtained show in the last five years, Public Square is home to over 400 crimes. 35 of them sex offenses, 66 robberies, menacing reported 78 times, and a startling 184 assaults. You know, Marissa, those things happen. In our um, experience, 99.9% .9 of the time those violent incidents happen downtown, it's between people that know one another. Ed Eckhart is the senior vice president of the Downtown Cleveland Alliance. He says the violence shouldn't deter visitors from holiday cheer. I don't want to um, kind of brush it off as it's not something that people should be concerned about. It's not a random act. It's not where somebody should be concerned that, hey, if I decide to go downtown and look at the lights, that um, something's going to happen to me just because, you know, I happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. For Clevelanders who shuffle in and out themselves, the reviews on safety are mixed. There's crime everywhere. Six o'clock is the latest outcome. Feel safer during the day. I feel like you got to keep your eye on your surroundings because you never know who is who and who's doing what and you know what their uh, agenda, hidden agenda is or what their intentions are. Cleveland Police Chief Wayne Drummond says downtown safety is a collective agreement, thriving best with all hands on deck. It's much larger than what the police department can do. It's a combination of our partners, whether it's federal, local, um, county, state, whatever the case might be, and trying to find what the right answer is to reduce the crime that takes place. Even with police headquarters just one block away, Edcart says the extra eyes are there, including a new substation in Tower City for Cleveland police, safety experts, and downtown Cleveland Alliance ambassadors. People should have no concern about coming downtown and enjoying, um, especially now. The new substation is also a starting point to address homelessness in Public Square. Eckhart says the launch of the new space is to work with Cleveland police and local organizations to make sure the homeless have what they need, not only to keep downtown clear, but for their safety too. Reporting from downtown, Marissa Signs, 3 News. All right, Marissa.